little thing about this. There was a, a, a case, one person, that kept coming back to my mind. A story that the children are familiar with. But there's a part of this, one, one bit of this story that kept coming back to my mind. That is the story of the man, the little man, Zacchaeus, is up in a tree when Jesus come along. In relating to Zacchaeus, he's home. I don't know everybody in the so Even though I've lived here three years, I do know a few people, but not a great number of them. But I have been in homes in Henderson that certainly wouldn't in dare invite Jesus in. <laughs> In fact, they don't even like it if the preacher comes in. <laughs> and so if they don't like it if the preacher comes in, they sure wouldn't like it if Jesus comes in, would they? So this kept coming back to my mind. And with me as the minister and pastors, I don't think I have ever knocked on the door, peeped my hall in front of their house, that was what I wasn't welcome in their house. Whether it was clean or not. <laughs> <laughs> But she had a call and made a call. And neither do I believe that if Jesus physically was to walk by and was to ring the doorbell, no matter what time, day or night it would be. I said, I was expecting. <laughs> I think this is a Catholic or something like that. That, that. that came out of him that he was expecting. Now, isn't this the kind of spirit that should be in a person when you want to dedicate something to God? You see, if, if we speak of committing, dedicating a dwelling place that we live in to God, and if we have some reservations in our mind and our heart about whether we invite Jesus in any time except on Sunday morning or on our, or some special time, not a special time for Zacchaeus because he was up there in a tree and the least the furthest things of that man's mind if I understand this story when he come up in that tree to watch this man Jesus come along was inviting him to his home I wonder what his wife said <laughs> I wonder what Zacchaeus' wife said when Zacchaeus not hey, hey mommy says I brought the preacher home <laughs> permit us to be stewards on and Jim and Dean beginning a life in this home in this building, in this dwelling, I trust and pray that it will be one that you will never be ashamed. You will never hesitate in your mind. Your that picture's pretty. What Sister Hutchison didn't make me get this off. Pull it from off the top. Oh, look here. Oh, those are nice. Big apple, little apple. I got this one. My cucumbers are going. See, you remember, see, you remember a time I was going over Grandma's and I fell with that bowl that Sister Hutchinson gave me from, at my shower. And you cried. And I sat down there in the driveway and bawled. She said, well, I said, what are you crying about? I said, I threw up my bowl. I said, well, so what you going to buy your daughter one? I said, it would mean nothing to me. Elsa. 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 Very careful. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, well, Pam and them, they said it was out there, and I was waiting for them to come to the door. Uh, well, I don't know. Somebody said they were. Oh, There's nobody else. <laughs>
I got afraid I didn't want her face to make it. She, 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 she,